cousin X went to Malaysia to open a rice stall, a local favorite spot for delicacies. The monthly net profit is close to 100,000. Cousin has been abroad for more than 10 years, having escaped the country before. His brother-in-law came to Malaysia later, initially working as a laborer at the docks. After a few years, he decided to start his own business. As it is a small Chinatown, most people here are Chinese immigrants working as laborers. Opening a rice stall was the only option for Cousin X, as he had been working to save money and often cooked his meals. His specialty is the packaged rice, which is quite popular. The stall's business is quite good, the food is served quickly, and is delicious. Local Malaysians come to taste it, and even many foreign workers have become fans of the packaged rice. Among the favorites are the chicken rice packages, while the wax sausages and fresh fish also sell well. They are reasonably priced and hygienic. Since last year, the business has been booming, and Cousin X has called in several fellow villagers to help out. Just by looking at the three rows of clay pots, you can tell how good Cousin X's business is. The stall is located by the roadside, and the aroma of fried rice can be smelled from afar. The rice is cooked on an open fire in clay pots and has a fragrance that regular rice doesn't possess, as it's mixed with plenty of oil. Despite the relatively high living costs, most people here rely on hard work to make a living. Compared to the mainland, the income is slightly higher. The local authorities are always ruthless, but many people come here to have a drink or two. They come from various regions, discussing matters from the south to the north, whether it's chicken or wax sausage, they all need the spoonful of honey sauce. Cousin X says it's the essence accumulated over many years. When the sauce is reheated, its aroma seems to permeate every grain of rice. The shop has expanded three times, and there are now more than 10 employees, half of whom are his fellow villagers. With high wages, Cousin X's wife also found work here. There were very few houses at the time, and Cousin X was one of those without one. He sprinkled chopped green onions and Sichuan peppercorn oil on top, adding even more flavor. The aroma was irresistible, especially when mixed with the rice stuck to the clay pot. Sometimes people would pack up the food to take home, wrapping it in paper, Cousin X has considered returning home. But he's worked hard to establish his business here, he has grown accustomed to life in Malaysia. He plans to retire at 60 and return home. Although he earns money here, life here is not as leisurely as it is back home.